Welcome back everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a quick fix DIY on the Creighton 4S. So what am I doing? I'm going to be real quick with it. The front shock towers, they don't broke, they break here because they thin. I'm already working on it, but I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. A quick fix I have not found on internet or nowhere, no Amazon or eBay, a metal front shock tower for this. If y'all guys know about, please leave a link down in the uh, description box or in the comment section so I can go get me a couple of them. Same for the real one. Now, this one, the real ones, they are, they are okay. I just got back from the hobby shop and uh, I got me uh, the set the front and rear shock tower. So, so this is my quick fix. Now, I got a shredder, a Red Cat shredder, 1-6 scale. A while back, this piece broke. This is the piece that goes in the front of the, uh, the shredder. This one broke after looking at it. I was like, oh, wait. I got a metal piece, a spare one for my shredder, and it's about the same dimension from the, the, the uh, screw. From screw. Can you find out? They're like almost identical. So, y'all see where I'm going with this, right? So, what I'm gonna do, also the, uh, the front arm broke, but that's gonna be for a separate video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these long screws with uh with the nut. I got the nut over here. And I'm gonna screw it right here like such. So after it's all said and done, I will I'll show it to you right now. Right here. So <laughs> so I got it done fixed, alright? So that's how it looked like. Now that these two parts are the two spare parts that I bought from my shredder. I will show you in a second. Um, let me get this to um, focus right. Okay. Yeah, for like I said before, those parts in the shredder goes right here. The uh burgundy part right there, or suspension, uh brace support, whatever you call it. Now I don't spend a whole lot of time. I even went to stores, hobby shops. And they, there's no, I have not found one as of yet, as of now, a metal uh, shock towel for both front and rear. I did, however, bought the uh, the original one. But I bought it because they were cheap. They're like $12, $13 or so at the hobby shop. I got them. Um, let me go get them for you. It's right there. Front, rear, front, rear. Forward, backward, go front or back. Okay, I don't mind it as such. Okay, see now that piece where it snapped off was exactly right there. This little piece of rubber plastic. Boy, that's like maybe two millimeters if a thick. Both sides, look at that. So it, it fit nice. Okay. This one goes all the way to the back. These two, those are actual screws. And then this is a, like you can see, just uh, bolt in a nut. But the uh, reason why there's no nut over here because they actually screw on this side as if it was made for each other so it fits nice it's stupid strong like ridiculous i mean okay it's metal on both ends the shocks are back in the spot where they are originally meant to be and so this is my uh one time fix forever uh bracket now the other weak point i want to mention um on the Creighton S4, I don't see no video, they do talk about it, but the weak points on these trucks, as far as I can see, there's three parts. The shock towers, that's already covered. The one in the rear, I haven't like crashed where it will land on that spot or anything like that, or maybe on the rear wheels, but they are these right here. The A arms, lower A arms. Now we all know that for you to have performance, 
true form is vehicle right here. The body has to be rigid. That's why it's sports car. They have a what is a roll cage so that the body won't flex. So that's why these control arms are stupid strong. They don't flex, and because of that, you get this. <laughs> so I bought, bought like I don't know, like uh, four packs, three, four packs of these. Because I know I'm, I'm going to be uh, breaking them. Already broke this week alone. Two of them. As you can see, look at these tools on the back. They look fairly uh, dirty or even with the rest of the body. Except for the two front A arms. That's just this week alone. Okay. And then, that's the second. Okay. The, the third part that breaks a lot are the rear hubs. Now, this one was my fault. Um, lessons learned. Small, light cars. They go stupid fast, but they do not break at all because they're just too light. The tires, they're not gonna, they don't have enough weight on them to warrant enough grip to stop the car and not skid on like on a good asphalt, let alone uh, concrete out there. So it's gonna skid as if it was a skateboard. And man, this cramp, because of the way the suspension is set up, you got um, very light um, shocks in the front. And then on the back, they're a little bit stiffer and because they are more wider, they tend to uh, to drift a lot. Like the tail always comes around the, the nose. Everybody knows that's one of the Creighton uh, things so the rear tires they're gonna be bashing against uh, sidewalk bumps uh, trash cans other cars or rocks or whatever you try to turn the car and you hit the brake or whatever it's gonna do a 180 right down the spot if not a 360 and then you're gonna get you're gonna hit something right um, but yeah so main problem here the front towers the rear ones they hold a lot better because you got the wing it, it won't fall on that it will fall on the wing and then the wing um it has its own support which is like literally almost the whole back so so i would say this is almost if not 100 percent guarantee it will not touch any floor or any object or whatever so these are gonna hold good all right um the A arms, all four of them, especially especially the front ones, all right. And um, because when you're gonna hit things, gonna hit just like right here, like that, boom, and it's gonna break the A arm. That's that's the that's the problem. On the front side, these front A arms, and then on the back are the rear hub, the hub carriers. Okay. These are the parts. That's how you're gonna get it. When you buy this, you're gonna get both of them in a package. Front and rear, very easy to replace. It's just that the way I drive them, they're gonna keep breaking. So, when I did this, now I can actually drive it harder. That's not gonna break. Probably the A arms, I'll probably just get metal A arms in the front. And uh, yeah, and then hope that these, the brace in the front won't break. So, there you have it. Because, Culprit of the 4S. Now again, um, if you know where I can find out front metal towers and rear as well, please drop it down in the comment section. I will definitely get a, a couple of them. I will install them and I will do another video with them installed. Um, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. That's going to help me out a lot. I got some other cars I'm going to do a review on. Um, what else can I say? Um, handling and everything, the car runs nice and everything. It's just too light for the power it has for us. And then on a good asphalt, it's just gonna keep sliding off. You just gotta be easy with the with the brake. That's all. That's pretty much it. All right. Uh, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell. Okay. Um, I got some other cars I wanna do, like uh, that right there. That's my Max. I got a pro line tires on it, but uh, but yeah, I got a shredder. I'm about to get the AS Creighton. 
All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.